Hello guys, today I have a demo project for you in Laravel. The code will be available on GitHub as usual for free, and this is about reordering of the data. So a typical example is a restaurant menu, and it has categories and the meals. So what if you want to rearrange those meals somehow like this, or inside of one category, so change those, or rearrange the whole category, or move something to another category, or something like that. So we will talk about that. And you can see the column position being changed. And we have two examples here, two sub-examples. First is rearranging categories without any visual stuff, without any drag and drop stuff. So by default, we have drinks, food, and desserts with position one, two, and three. And this is the same in the database. So database looks like this. Categories, food, drinks, and desserts. And this is the position. Actually, should be changed by now. Refresh. And if we add new category, like anything, if we don't specify any position, it is assigned as position plus one, so max position, position plus one. But if we, for example, add another category and then delete stuff, like this, so we delete that category and then all the other categories below are automatically reassigned the position. Or, for example, if I added that category to position two, then it has position two and everything else kind of moves down. So let's delete that category for now. And let's see how it actually works in the code. So in the category controller, you won't actually see any logic because it's a typical CRUD controller, partly generated by our quick admin panel. So in store category, it's just stored. In update, it's just updated. So nothing to see here, right? But the whole magic is happening in category observer. Observer is a class that you can attach to any model to observe any changes on the model. So there is a method like creating, updating, and deleting, I think, deleted. And there is a difference. Creating and updating happens before the action, and deleted happens after the action, after saving the data in the database. So creating, what is the logic? While creating, we are checking if there is a position specified. If not, then we assign the position and return. And also we need to change the positions for other categories. If, for example, I want to create a new category inside, like position number two in the set of five. So we need to do the magic on changing other categories. And there is one thing to mention here, method save quietly. So if you use observers, and if you save the category with just save here, then the observer will be fired again, which will cause an eternal loop. So updating the category will fire an observer, which will fire an observer and stuff like that. So there is a method called save quietly, which wouldn't fire the observer. So if you want to prevent the observers to be fired, this is the method you need to know. Uh, updating pretty similar, but it's much more logic actually. So we are changing position, then we have position ranges, and then for some categories we need to lower the position, for some categories we need to upper the position make the position higher and stuff like that. So the code will be available in GitHub and you can just play around with that. And delete it is pretty simple. So if we want to delete the category with position three, then we need to take all the categories with position four and above, and we need to make them minus one. So this is decrement with one position and also save quietly. So this is how it is done without any drag dropping, just by manipulating the position in the back end in the observer. Now let's get to more interesting part. So in meals table, we just from the controller, we load all the categories with meals, which has many relationships, and order by position. And in the meals index, we just load the table for each categories, and inside of each category, we do for each category meals. So pretty typical thing here. But now the magic is happening with class sortable and data ID for the category and for the data ID for the meal. And this is where jQuery library, jQuery UI sortable comes in. So at the bottom of that index blade, we have sortable, category sortable, and meal sortable. And I won't really dig too deep into the logic. It's pretty complicated and you can, as I said, play around on GitHub. But the principle is whenever something is sortable, category or the meal, the post is happening, so Ajax requests to the reorder function, whether it's category reorder or meals reorder, it's still reordering of the positions. And there is one separate function of send reorder meal request, which also sends the Ajax request, and then when done, it rearranges the categories physically and visually. And that category reorder or meals reorder 
looks like this. For categories, it's just validating the IDs, and then for each ID, DB table, categories were update. Why DB table and why not category? Because the observers won't be fired. That's also interesting observation. So observers are attached to eloquent model. So whenever you do the operation outside of eloquent model directly with DB table with query builder, eloquent magic methods won't be fired. So that is for categories controller and for meals controller, there's also reorder method, which is a bit more complicated because there's also a possibility of changing the category ID for the meal. So that's it, a quick overview of that project. The code will be available on GitHub, as I said. Check that out, play around, and comment in the comment section if you have something to add. If you want more videos and demo projects like this one, you can support this channel by doing one of two things. First, using our Laravel Quick Admin Panel Generator. The link is on the screen. Or enroll in one of my courses on Teachable. The link is also on the screen. See you guys in other videos.